Happy Thursday, guys. We're going to have some fun today. Well, I'm going to have some fun, too, as well. We're going to take you along to the butcher shop on how to save money at a butcher shop by looking at their bundles and seeing if those bundles is beneficial to your family financially. Now, understand when you go to a butcher shop, everything is per pound. So what you want to do to understand if you're actually saving money is you want to do their per pound plus what you get in the stores like Walmart, um, uh, Costco, Sam's Club, and see if their per pound is a better deal for you based on what you're seeing in additional stores. That's one of the ways I uh, can navigate through this recession and still allow my money to uh, work for me and not me working for my money. So guys, we're going to have a really good time. I'm going to go to a couple of stores. I don't go too often to the stores. It's because I live so far up and I normally store up a lot of stuff. But I said, well, you know, I want to go to the butcher and uh, put an order in. So I said, why don't I share that with these beautiful souls on Facebook and let them see how I navigate and how I save money during this time of recession. So guys, it's going to be really fun. So stay tuned. I'm going to uh, actually... I don't know if I'm going to go live or I'm going to record it and then put it uh, on Facebook. So let me know how you want me to do it. And whatever way I do it, I whatever way I'm comfortable doing it, that's the way I'll do it. So guys, I'll tell Hey guys, so I'm in the butcher. And when you come into a butcher, you can either use their actual packages. I'm going to show you their packages. You can actually use their packages they have uh, names on the packages and it tells you how many pounds of meat you're going to get on the package and they will tell you how much it costs because prices vary every single day in the back of it you have um, bigger packages the 14 day planner the big meal deal the jumbo deal so it's bigger packages with the covered wagon deal so you can see all the meat within that package in there so you do have the ones at the front but the ones in the front are smaller um, than the ones in the back but when you're doing this it's what your family needs it's based on what your family needs so you have different items in here that you can add actually to your package as well um, you have different sauces here different sauces here and you have some of the meat sitting right here some of the meat sitting right here then they have meat actually in the back as well here's more meat here you have your here some more meat here and then you have your prices as well so here's your sausages here and for your breakfast sausage is $5.99 a pound so you would depending on what type of sausage you like you would want to go into another store a basic store and you want to see what price is better per pound so that's how you're doing that right now so he's getting my package ready what I'm doing is just adding to what I already have because I'm down here in the city. So what I do when I'm down here in the city is I'll always add to my freezers. And uh, while I'm down here, I'll stop by Walmart and I'll add to my freezers there if I see anything or my shelves if I see anything that is a great deal. So guys, I'm just uh, in here waiting for this to be done. And when I get home, I'll show you uh, everything that I've purchased from the butcher and if I purchase anything from Walmart. Okay. okay, guys, here's all the meat that I got from the butcher. It's 74 pounds at $112. Okay. I need to actually package those. There we go. Lots of chicken back there. Okay, guys, so it's 74 pounds for $112. They have different uh, package deals for you. 
try out your butcher, see if those package deal is best suitable for your family's needs. Be wise when we're shopping right now, guys. You want that money to work for you. You don't want to work for your money. And you don't want to keep constantly going back to the store buying meat items because that can get very expensive with gas prices like they are. So when you buy your meat, you want to buy it in bulk. You want to make sure you have enough that's going to last you because you're running back and forth to the store buying meat that is not really sustainable for the needs of your family long term is a waste of money. So try different ways to buy your meat. Try store brands, which is a lot cheaper. The store brands include your legs and your quarters. They don't include the wings. I know a lot of us like wings, but right now wings are not uh, at a reasonable price. They're going for like $20. When you have a family of four or a family period, uh, with prices skyrocketing right now, you don't want to buy a bag of wings for $25 or even $30. You want to buy something that is going to be sustainable, which is your uh, legs and your quarters which are going for Walmart here you can buy them for like six seventy nine for five pounds of legs that is a great buy compared to your wings you can buy uh, four uh, four bags of that uh, five pounds for twenty five dollars so guys it is a better way to do your shopping during this recession we have to be smart we have to calculate what we're buying and we need our money to work for us. We do not want to work for our money. Prices are getting higher. Uh, the way they're packaging the food is getting smaller. So you got to be smart. You got to buy things that's beneficial to your family and it's going to be long term. Buy in bulk. That is the best way to buy right now but buy in bulk at a reasonable price. Look around whatever state or city you're in and make the smartest deals for your family. But before I let you go, guys, I'm tired and I'm sweaty, but I needed to share this with you. In such a time as this, each one need to teach one. God bless you and stay amazing. Bye, guys.